Hi folks, this is Shefik. Today we are going to focus on vector similarity search with PostgreSQL or shortly Postgres. But before we begin, please like the video and do not forget to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with the latest videos. Also, your comments are more than welcome. Thank you for your all support in advance. Postgres comes with major advantage against its competitors because just Postgres is able to store arrays as dedicated data types. On the other hand, if you want to store vector embeddings in relational databases similar to SQLite, I strongly recommend you to read this blog post. We have to store each dimension in a column or row. To connect Postgres, we are going to use Postgres SQL and Postgres command. If you see this Postgres label, then this means we connected to our Postgres engine successfully. Then I'm going to call backslash list command and this is going to list the existing databases. Here I'm going to create a deep phase database to store my vector embeddings. And to create a new database, I'm going to use the command create database and database name which is device our device database is just created let's see what backslash list command here as you can see the face is available in our postgres databases then i'm going to authorize my user on this database that's why i'm going to run grant all privileges on database the face to my user as you can see, this user is granted on database device. Let's run this command. As you can see, my own user is authorized on this database. Now I'm going to use the face library for Python to represent facial images as vector embeddings. And as a facial database, I'm going to use its unit test items under tests and dataset folder. These are the my database items and I'm going to represent each item as a vector embedding. Firstly, I'm going to import the operating system module thereafter called its walk function and pass the device unit test items path here, the face tests and dataset. As you can see, walk function returns directory path, directory names and file names. And here file names are list. That's why I'm going to build another for loop for file name and file names. And let's print each file name. Besides, I'm going to append the directory as a prefix. In this list, as you can see, I have some non-image files. That's why I'm going to filter files with .jpg extension. If .jpg is in our image path. Thereafter, I'm going to get it. Now I'm going to import the face library from the face import the face. And here I'm going to use the face dot represent function and image path is going to be image path here. Then model name is going to be facenet for this experiment. And finally, detector backend is going to be empty CNN. Represent function returns an embedding object, embedding objects actually. Here I'm going to build another for loop, embedding object in embedding objects. Thereafter get its embedding cake. This is going to be my embedding. Thereafter I'm going to initialize the representations list and here I'm going to store each embedding with image name. Once this block is over, I'm going to have 69 different facial images and each item has image name and embedding. Let's see the first one. This is image22.jpg and this is its vector embedding. Let's access the vector embedding directly and let's find out its number of dimensions. Facenet model produces 128 dimensional vectors. That's why each facial item has 128 dimensions in this experiment. To communicate with Postgres from Python, I'm going to use this dependency PSYCOPG2. Now let's initialize the Postgres connection. Connection is going to be Postgres client 
dot connect and here we are going to set some arguments for example host is going to be localhost port is going to be as default port 5432 database is going to be the face user is going to be my user and password is going to be password thereafter i'm going to create the cursed object of this connection and let's throw this into cursed variable thereafter i'm going to use this cursed object to communicate with postgres and run statements for example cursed.execute and here i'm going to create my database create table embeddings and here i'm going to specify as columns name is going to be varchar embedding is going to be decimal array thereafter postgres requires to run commit command even though this is a data definition language statement this is interesting because when you are working with oracle database you don't have to run commit if you run data definition language statements on the other hand you have to run commit if you run data manipulation language statements but in postgres you have to run commit in both data definition language and data manipulation language let's see let's connect the face database first thereafter i'm going to run backslash dt command now i see my embeddings table here and let's see the content of embeddings table select all from embeddings it's empty now now we are going to store each representation remember that representations variable consists of 69 embeddings so we are going to store those 69 embeddings into our database let's create a for loop for image path and embedding in representations thereafter i'm going to generate a dynamic statement i'm going to run insert into name of the table which is embeddings and here i'm going to define the column names name and embedding thereafter set as values name is going to be image path and the value of embedding is going to be array and here i'm going to pass the list of embedding here i'm going to run cursor.execute command and run the statement and after this for loop i'm going to run commit again all statements will run and let's check the content of our database again let's check the number of rows in this table now i have 69 different rows and let's see the content as you can see i start image name and its embedding as columns now i'm going to represent this target image as vector embedding thereafter i'm going to look for the identity of this image in my facial database notice that this image is not available in my facial database so i'm going to look for the identity so target path is going to be target.jpg thereafter i'm going to represent this target.jpg as vector embeddings deface.represent here i'm going to set image path as target path and similarly i'm going to use facenet facial recognition module and mtcnn detector backend and this is going to return a list i'm going to access at first index because my target image consists of just one face thereafter i'm going to access its embedding key and this is going to be my target embedding thereafter i'm having the target embedding and similar to other embeddings this has 128 dimensions now i'm going to find the distance of this embedding with the embeddings in my database now i'm going to create a query and let's start with a basic one for example select number of rows in my embeddings table thereafter i'm going to run cursor.execute and run this query then i'm going to call cursor.fetchall and let's set this to rows and finally let's build a for loop on rows object and print each of them as you can see this query is returning the value 69 then i'm going to change this query i'm going to need name and embedding columns as you can see this is returning 
both image name and its embeddings for each dimension and let's access the custom image where name is equal to suppose that i'm going to access this one for now this is returning name and embeddings now i'm going to use unnest function of postgres as you can see this shows each dimension in a row here here to find the euclidean distance i'm going to unnest the array of target embedding and here each row shows the difference of each dimension value thereafter i need to find the squared values for each subtraction that's why here i'm going to call power function and set its exponent to 2 thereafter i'm going to add a group by clause here but postgres requires to use subquery first let's use select all from here and let's set group by name and here i'm going to use name and sum of each value here let's set distance alias i'm going to find the sum of distance values and it's going to be my distance exception message is clear i have to put an alias for the subquery let's say subquery one and now i have the distance between my target image and image 22.jpg but i finally need to find the square root value find the euclidean distance the value is 12. according to the deep face pre-tuned distance values face net model should have value less than 10 that's why i'm going to add here the distance value i'm going to add another subquery select all from this is going to be my subquery too and i'm going to check where distance is less than the value 10. this is not returning anything because image 22.jpg is not belonging to angina judy let's remove this condition here this returns the identities of Angelina Julie. And here I can add order by close as well. This is the nearest one. Let's see the results in the unit test folder. As you can see, this query calculates the Euclidean distance between target embedding and all embeddings in our facial database. Thereafter, it filters the distance values according to the pre-tuned threshold value and returns to identities. So, in this video, we focus on vector similarity search with Postgres. Thank you all for watching and see you next time.